What is going on guys? Welcome back to the N3K channel. Uh, it's been a little while since I haven't made a video. I've been moving around, I've been uh, starting the new job. So I'd like to let you guys know that I'm still alive, I'm still working on the channel. And um, today we're going to be looking at something that is quite new actually. Something that just came out with a new Unity version that helped me out quite a lot actually in, uh, in the recent days. And let me explain you why. So what happened is that Unity finally released their version 5.6 and this one includes a video player. Now uh, if you guys remember like two weeks ago I went to a game jam, I've made this game and at the very beginning of the game, if I can just move a little bit forward, in the back as you can see is a video playing. But I, I'm not sure if it's going to be as clear to you as it is to me right now but this one was really chunky and I've had some lag and it was just like really not that good looking when you're running on a high FPS. And that was because it is actually using the old um, video player. Now with Unity 5.6, we have a new new way to actually play video that is uh, hardware accelerated. So it's gonna be super fast, and the best thing about it is, let me just show you real quick. So I have my engine on the right hand side here. On the left screen, I'm going to drag and drop just a little clip of uh, me playing League of Legends and it's right here in the project I'm just gonna drop it and nothing else happens so we do not have to compress it in any way this is just a normal mp4 um, basically what you had to do before is actually take your mp4 then drag it in Unity, and it would require QuickTime to do the compression and obviously if you're using like QuickTime it's just a mess in the end you don't want to be have you don't want to have to be using this when you can just you know, play mp4 so this is what the new component allows us to do and we're gonna have a look at it right now. It is fairly simple. If we create a new game object, just an empty game object, we'll call it video player and I'll get into uh, the details of it as we speak. So it's an empty game object, it doesn't have to be named video player, I just, name, I just like to name it like that. And then the component is called video player. Fair enough, right? All right, so let's get started. At the very top right here, we have a source uh, property, and that source property is just you know letting you know: Do you want to be playing your clip from something you've imported, such as this MP4 right here, or do you want to play it from a URL? And when they mean URL right here, it's um, it's any path on your own computer, on your asset bundle, or on a HTTP server. So that does not include YouTube. That does not include uh, Wimeo or you know any kind of secured website that hosts um, videos basically so unfortunately we cannot use YouTube in here yet I had a project in mind where I could use like some videos in the background that would have been cool but not able to do that just yet hopefully in the future this is still fairly new uh, in our case we'll be using a video clip since I've imported it right here and uh, let's keep going down so we have this option right here that says play and awake if you just hit play your video starts playing now where exactly is it playing is a different story. So we're gonna be looking at that right here. The wait for first frame property is just going to wait until your scene is ready uh, before it actually plays. So you don't skip the early frames of your video. Uh, loop just does, you know, loop just loops your video when it's over. It's just gonna start over again. So that could be nice for some effect or post effects. Playback speed is actually quite funny. You can actually slow down your video and play it at 0.5 speed or play it faster at 3 speed. It's really up to you. For mine, I'll be playing it at 1 speed. You know, the, the original one. Now, the place where it gets really interesting is the render mode. So where are you actually going to be putting that video clip? Right now, it is on a render texture. Um, as you can tell in my project, I don't have any render texture, actually I don't really have anything in that project but just some asset um, just laying around. So we're going to be looking at something else, however really soon on the channel we're going to have a video about render texture, we're going to be uh, projecting uh, on a minimap, we're going to be projecting on some security camera, so that's something we're going to be looking for on the channel quite soon. Let's have a look at the other render mode though. The, the first one is quite interesting for some kind of effect, let me actually show you. It's actually going to play your video clip on the far clip of the camera. So if you have the camera right here, uh, what usually happens with a camera is you have a, a near clip, which is hard to see right now, and a far clip. I'm just going to remove the skybox so we can have a little bit uh, easier time looking at this. And here it is. So if you guys see in the back, there is that big square 
in the back of the camera that has the rectangle shape right now. So that big square in the back, that is the fire plane. And there's also the same exact square, but in the front, of course, a lot smaller. And that would be the near plane. It's actually really hard to see, but here it is almost. I can almost see the square right here. So that's the near clip and the other one is the far clip. You can actually play it on those as well. So if I just move my camera over here and we decide to play on the camera far plane, um, I'm just going to drag my camera in here. As you can tell, we're playing the video just like if, it's what, like, just like if it was a skybox. So that's quite interesting. Um, you could also be playing it on the near clip, so if we just move it over here. So what this does is it's actually playing it in front of everything. So if you had a UI, you would not be able to see your UI. You'd actually be able to see this, uh, your whole video playing. So that could be really nice if you're trying to just force the player to watch your video and you know nothing else is in front. But that could also be used in the other way around. If your video has some alpha, so if you made your video with After Effects, or any other software that renders alpha in your video, you could just have some kind of MP4 uh, with alpha on top of your whole game, which could give it some nice effect. So maybe just have like a fire um, with some alpha and then you would have your screen on fire and then the game behind it. It's really depending on what you want to do. There's like a bunch of possibilities with that. You also have the option to do a material override and this one is quite funky. I'm not quite sure where it's going to be useful. But uh, what you can do is actually pass in a mesh. Right now I gave it the mesh of this uh, floor right here in the middle, so grass terrain. Um, and that was an awful pronunciation. I'm sorry for that. I just pass in this thing and it's going to override, say, the main texture or the bump map. You have to decide which one you want. But I'm going to say you are going to override the, the main texture. In this case, the main texture is uh, the albedo. So if we just hit play, have a look, it's actually right here, as you can tell, this is a render texture. That's the icon for render texture. If we open it, you're going to see that the diffuse is actually our video. So it's a moving diffuse, and it is quite trippy, to be honest. It's hard to see with the fog, but it's playing in the background right here. And the last one is API only, which I'm going to be frankly honest. I have no clue how to use this just yet. I'll give you some more details if I ever find out. I am quickly going to just go down right here in the audio output mode. Right now the direct doesn't seem to work. If we just hit play, it's going to say something like direct audio output is not supported yet. So we're not going to do that, but I'm assuming that it was just, you know, it would simply play the audio directly from the movie. Now there's another way you can do this. It's actually by putting it on audio source and then in putting in audio source directly on top of your audio listener which I've done right here, so that's my main camera. Um, you know, as usual, you have your main camera that has the audio listener. So I just decided to put a audio source on top of it. And I'm going to lower the sound because it is quite a loud video to say 0.3. You don't have to do that, obviously. And then simply drag and drop my main camera in here and we should get the audio of the clip. So it looks a little bit like this, I'm not sure if you can actually hear me through that sound. But um, that's actually what it looks like in the game. It's a quite powerful video player to be honest, it's a lot better than the last one we had. And something that is also very interesting now is that if you have multiple audio track, because when you make your videos you have the option to have multiple audio tracks, which is quite useful, say you're making different languages for that very same clip you can actually take care of that right here. Um, unfortunately, the video clip I have only has one video track, so that's only the game sound and nothing else. So you can't see it here, but you can actually enable and disable which track you want. So say you have one movie and you want to translate that movie for different languages, or you know you have some kind of game and you want to be able to play cinematic in multiple language. Now, depending on the setting of the game, so if the, the player said, oh, I want to have my game in English, uh, you can choose, okay, so English is equal to track 0 and it's going to use track 0 for all the video, why not? 
And uh, if that player chose French, then it's going to go for track one. And when you render your video, you can actually render with multiple track. It's just a matter of uh, syncing those with the clip, so it looks good. But basically, this is what the audio track is for. You can, um, I believe, since it's checkbox, I believe you can actually play multiple audio source, uh, sorry, multiple tracks at the same time. Don't quote me on that, and well, it's kind of useless, so don't do that either. But it actually leaves room to some very interesting mechanic, and that is actually where I'm going to end today, guys, because I'm literally just sitting on the floor right here. If you haven't seen my last Facebook post, I just got in my new apartment, and I don't have a desk just yet, so my PC is kind of on the floor, and I'm recording this right now. But guys, don't worry, I'm getting a desk really soon. And uh, we're going to be making a tutorial about the minimap and also a uh, surveillance camera, all that kind of, you know, all, all those kind of effects that we're going to be doing on the render texture quite soon. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.